let's look at same at past year trends of qadi section so if you look at the total number of questions in the past 3 years of uh, in the past 2 years of 3 slots overall of exam so in cat 20, in cmat 2022 there were 20 questions overall in qadi section in uh, 2021 slot 1 there were 25 questions overall and in slot 2 also 2021 we had uh, 25 questions overall okay now if you look at the total number of questions topic wise then in the arithmetic there were 7 questions in uh, CMAT 2022. There were 11 questions regard, related to arithmetic in CMAT 2021 slot 1. And there were 10 questions, one question shy of uh, what we had in the first slot in the second slot. Okay. If you look at the next topic of uh, QA which is numbers, there were only 2 questions from numbers in uh, CMAT 2022. In CMAT 2021 slot 1, there were 4 questions. And we had equal number of questions in slot 2 as well. If you look at algebra, there was only one question in CMAT 2022. There were four questions from algebra in CMAT 2021 slot 1. Uh, we had one less question in uh, CMAT uh, 2021 slot 2 from algebra. If you look at geometry, geometry had more weightage than algebra in CMAT 2022. There were two questions. There was only one question from geometry in CMAT 2021 slot 1, there was again only one question in geometry from slot 2 as well. If you look at modern math, so there were two questions uh, in uh, CMAT 2022, the last year CMAT. There were three questions uh, in slot 1 of 2021 and uh, equal number of questions in slot 2 as well. If you look at DI, there were five questions from DI in 2022. There were only two questions of DI in slot 1 of 2021. And there were four questions in 2021 slot 2. So you can see that they have been variable. Huh? When there were two slots, slot 1 and slot 2 in uh, CMA 2021, some of the sections, uh, some, sorry, some of the topics, they had equal number of questions, but then there were some topics that had varied number of questions. Now, topic wise, if you look into arithmetic, so the important topics here being percentage, profit, loss and discount, SICI, ratio, partnership, average, time and work and time, speed and distance. So in 2022, there were one question from each of these topics. There were a total of eight questions from arithmetic in uh, 2022. Okay. The level of difficulty of each of these questions were they varied from easy to moderate. The moderate ones being SICI, which has always been a uh, uh, tough subtopic for us in arithmetic. Uh, ratio, uh, the question was moderate because it was a little lengthy question rather than not calculative enough. Percentage was a little moderate side. Remaining all questions were very easy. I mean solvable within 30 seconds or so. If you look at 2021 slot 1, there were overall 11 questions from arithmetic. Um, most of the questions were either moderate or difficult. Okay, So the overall slot 1 arithmetic topic questions were of moderate level difficulty okay some couple of them were easy as well so ratio based question was a difficult one uh, time speed and distance time and work averages these questions were moderate level so was profit loss and discount and sici percentage easy tough okay now in slot 2 there were two questions of moderate level uh, of percentage okay and uh, two questions each of time and work and time speed and distance. So only three subtopics of uh, arithmetic, percentage, time and work and time speed and distance, it constituted 60% as in six out of 10 questions of arithmetic. And the other questions were of the level difficulty easy to moderate. So overall paper was easy moderate. So if we look at the arithmetic topic overall, the level of questions have been not more than moderate. Okay. Huh. There can be one or two questions that may be difficult, but overall not. Let's move over to the next topic, which is numbers. So in the case of numbers, there were only two questions in uh, last year's CMAT, right? And one question was from classification of properties of numbers. That was an easy one. And there was one question which was based on factors or divisibility rules. That was also a very easy one. Okay. So the overall uh, numbers topic uh, uh, level of difficulty was easy last year's CMAT. If I look at 2021 slot 1, um, 4 questions were throughout, 
one question each from classification properties of number one question from certs one question related to hcf lcm and one question related to factors in divisibility rule almost all of them were easy so the overall um, topic subtopic was easy numbers ke questions asaan the if you look at slot 2 okay again you had one question from each of these four topics and half of them were moderate level difficulty half of them were easy ones so normally classification of numbers your properties or hcf lcm ke questions easy hi bante hain it's only certs which are little moderate ones if they are lengthy they, the terms are more okay and factors divisibility rule a little bit of concept is uh, required because those are word problems that makes it sometimes moderate level and not that easy okay uh, if we look at algebra the next uh, subtopic so algebra consisted of four parts of uh, four types of questions one was linear next is quadratic next was higher uh, order polynomials and the fourth one was functions since there was only one question in last year's uh, cmat and that question was only for from a linear equation so it was an easy okay so algebra bahut aasan tha last year if you look at 2021 slot 1 there were one question from uh, each of these four uh, types of questions and the overall level of difficulty was easy to moderate slot 2 me there was uh, no question from higher order polynomial we had from linear quadratic and functions okay uh, the overall level of uh, difficulty in f uh, of algebra subtopic in uh, 2021 ka slot 2 me it was overall easy okay let's look at the next two subtopics geometry first so geometry say the questions that came was from these three types triangles mensuration and heights and distances so in 2022 there were two questions from geometry one was from uh, heights and distances and another one was for mensuration to be precise it was from 3d mensuration moderate level the dono hi so overall uh, geometry was moderate 2021 slot 1 may uh, there was uh, one question just one question from geometry and it was from triangles slot 2 also only one question which was from triangles so overall geometry in the last three papers if we see it was from easy to moderate okay modern maths now modern maths consists of three topics set theory per permutation and combination and probability so in 2022 there was uh, there were two questions of uh, modern maths and both were from probability and they were of moderate level difficulty why moderate not because it was calculative or the word problem was difficult uh, it was moderate because we are not so much well versed with probability right those are word problems hence if you look at 2021 slot 1 there were one question from each of these three topics x set theory one pnc and one probability overall it was an easy subtopic 2021 slot 2 again one question from each of them overall easy now let's look at data interpretation now if you look at 2022 ka cmat mein so there were five questions from uh, di there was only one question related to pie chart and it was of moderate level difficulty and there were four questions based on a table and those were moderate as well so overall level of difficulty of di was moderate last year if you look at the year before that slot one there was there were there was only one question from uh, uh, pie chart and only one question from table so a pie chart was given and just one question associated with it again a table was given and only one question associated with it so those were signals so overall it was easy it was actually very easy right normally what happens is when you get a di question where the associated questions are only one or two at most they are easy when you get four question best sets then those sets become little difficult right difficult doesn't mean difficult it means little difficult as compared to easy so it changes to moderate if you look at slot 2, there were four questions overall and all the four questions were related to pie chart. So, in ke alawa, line graph, bar graph aya hai nahi abhi tak last three exams mein. Okay. So, if I want to look into, um, you know, which are the important topics, okay, what is the final verdict is that the arithmetic is important because you have always got maximum number of questions from there almost half of total questions have been from arithmetic if i look into qa part okay next uh, the next most important topic being algebra and numbers 
Geometry and modern maths are not that important. So I will club arithmetic as the most important first number, numbers and algebra at the second, geometry and modern maths as the third slot. Now DI being the first slot again, as in DI is as important as arithmetic, right? At least 20% questions are going to be uh, from DI. Uh, in 2022 slot may, five questions out of 20, which is 25% of the questions were related to DI. So if you really want to maximize your score okay you should definitely not leave out arithmetic and di okay and you should also look into the, the subtopics that we saw um you know there are only limited types of uh, uh, topics that you need to go through because you do not get questions from let's say logarithm okay uh, you have not got a question related to let's say sequences in series questions it doesn't mean it can't come but the chances of those coming in uh, this year's exam will be very less okay so overall paper of qadi is always going to be easy to moderate it's not going to be moderate it's not going to be difficult it's always going to lie between easy and moderate okay so if you leave or if you uh, you know if you're able to solve moderate level questions faster and easy ones you will take obviously less time the overall paper will look very easy. So please expect again more questions from arithmetic, uh, less questions from numbers and algebra together and lesser questions from, uh, uh, from modern maths and uh, geometry. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and uh, do follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page and uh, you can join our Telegram uh, channel. The channel name is Badger's Exam Prep for MBA and you can download our app from Google Play. Thank you everyone. I hope you guys uh, were able to figure out which topics are important and which are not. See you very soon.